Hello everyone, this is another video from the online guide on a bot constructor and telegram menu builder bot. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, we strongly recommend to start over and watch. The link will be in the description. To find the menu builder in telegram, you can use global search. To do this, in the right upper corner, press corresponding icon and type menu builder bot. And we are starting. In today's video, we will talk about such a section of your admin panel as advertisement. This section allows you to set up receiving advertisement in your own bot. In this case, advertisement will be sent to the users of your bot and you, as the owner, will receive financial rewards. Funds received from the advertisement market can be withdrawn to your own external wallets. Participation in advertisement market is absolutely voluntarily and without your consent no advertisement have ever been sent to your bots in past or present and will never be sent in future. Moreover, in order to receive advertisement you must first configure its recept. In addition, your bot must meet certain requirements. In general, getting advertisement is more of a privilege and a way to make money rather than an imposed need, as it is in other projects. It is almost impossible to describe all the details and mechanics of advertisement market in one video. So in this video, we will focus on the practical aspects of setting up. But if you really want to go into details and really understand how everything works, then you cannot do it without reading the guides. We warn you right away that the manuals of advertisement market are quite voluminous, but we will leave the links in the description. So, to go to advertisement settings, click Start Admin Advertisement. The message in this menu displays the current advertisement market settings of your bot. We will return to the content of this message later, but now Let's see how to set up and enable the advertisement in your bot. The top menu button allows you to enable advertisement and the setting status is shown on the button itself. As we can see, receiving advertisement is currently disabled. If we just try to enable receiving of advertisement without any additional settings being made, the bot will give an error. If advertisement in your bot doesn't turn on due to lack of settings, then you will be able to see the next necessary setting right inside the error message. Let's start our setup by choosing the advertisement language. As you can see from the message, you need to specify the main language of your subscribers. The language you choose must match your bot's menu language. Regardless of the selected language, Messages in English can be received by the bot. This is only possible if the advertiser has created an advertisement message with those settings. In other words, advertisement messages in English can be sent to the bots with any languages that advertiser would specify. It is assumed that the users of the bot speak their native language as well as English. However, if the main language of your bot is English, then advertisement in other languages will not be received. Be careful with your language settings, because most of the bots getting banned from the advertisement market exactly because of the language manipulations. It is easy to get a ban, but it is either impossible or very expensive to get unbanned. In any case, you will not like the consequences of the ban. Our bot is in English, so we choose English. According to this, our bot will receive messages only in English. Only those languages are available for advertisement market that constructor itself being translated to. The translation is done by volunteers, so if you like to receive advertisement in your own language, you can participate in translation. How it is done, you can ask either in groups or in our support bot. Going to the next setting, letting us to select the currencies that we are ready to accept as a payment for advertisement we receive. You can choose one or several currencies, everything is at your own discretion. Next we move on to more complex and not so unambiguous settings. Rating R. As you can see from the ratings settings, 
there are only 5 plus 1 additional zero rating. Immediately I need to make a reservation. Ratings are not categories. Advertisement categories will be probably added later, but not at this time. What ratings are used for? Since advertisement is sent to the bots automatically, the bots owners must be sure what kind of content they receive. The ratings are arranged in ascending order. The safest rating is R1 and the less secure is R5. In this menu, the bot owner can define the message of what rating he is ready to receive in his bot. All advertisement messages are pre-moderated and approved. Advertisement messages ratings are assigned by moderators. For each rating, there is an example of topics as well as specific criteria for determining it. We like to draw your attention to the fact that only the message itself is moderated. In some cases, the moderator can follow the link and see the contents of the project. However, he naturally may not be able to go deep into details of each advertised project. Once again, I will repeat, the moderation is only applied to the message itself and the rating is assigned in accordance with the content of the message and not the project it refers to. In this video, we will briefly touch on the criteria for each rating. If you like to know more detailed instructions that admins will follow when setting up the ratings, then you will have to read about it in the guides. Link will be in the description. Rating R1 This is the safest rating. Messages of natural content comes here. The messages are written in a common literary language. The theme of the projects should be acceptable in any social groups. Rating R2 this is also a fairly safe rating, however, rather the youth one. A large number of emojis are allowed, as well as slang and jargons. Also, clickbait headlines are allowed, different youth themes. Rating R3 This rating includes messages in which, one way or another, there is a financial component. In those messages, they may offer to earn money, to get discounts, win or such. Projects in this rating, though, may not imply any investment from subscriber side. Rating R4 This is already an unsafe rating. A kind of alternative to the R3 rating. This rating includes projects that involve the investment of subscribers' funds, various paramite projects and such. Rating R5 This rating includes advertisement messages, the content of projects in which may not be widely accepted in society. For example, erotica and this type of things. And also messages without any design, such as bare links are here. The advertisement messages with the contents that are related to any illegal or prohibited for distribution in Telegram topics will not be accepted for the mailing. One way or another, the final decision is made by the moderator in accordance with his idea of good and evil. So, we have looked at the first to fifth ratings. Now, let's talk about the R0 rating. Rating R0 means that no rating has been assigned. If you have set this rating in your bot, then advertisement messages will not be sent to your bot automatically. But at the same time you can add them manually from the channel that is specially dedicated for this purpose. Let's set the rating to R0 and, as promised, back to the main post of the advertisement section. All advertisement messages that are approved for distribution will go to the dedicated channel. A link to this channel as well as instructions for manual adding of advertisement are present in this post. If your bot is rated R0, you can take advertisement from this channel and this way manually determine which message your bot are ready to receive and how often. The messages from this channel can be taken by the owners of bots with any rating, not only the R0 ones, but it is most relevant to R0 cases. To let the advertisement market distribution processor know that your bot is ready to receive a particular advertisement message, 
send the title of it directly to your bot, not the advertisement message itself, but the title only. Please note that uh, forwarding a message does not mean that you will definitely receive any of the messages in this mailing list, but by sending a message to your bot, you only indicate your readiness to receive it. Mailing is carried out according to a certain algorithms, which are aimed at distributing advertisement evenly and as fairly as it is possible amongst all participants of the advertisement market. You can learn more about the principles of mailing in the manuals. Let's go back to the bot and continue with the setup. The next setting is the number of messages. This setting artificially limits the maximum number of messages that can be sent to each user of your bot. This setting is needed to determine the advertisement value for each bot. As you understand, if the bot's users receive over 10 messages per day, then the value of each of such messages will be quite low. Due to this, the cost of advertisement in your bot will be lower and accordingly your reward will be lower as well. It is difficult to say how exactly the settings you choose will affect the bot's earnings overall. Because with a cheaper advertisement, it may turn out that you will receive more advertising orders exactly due to its cheapness. So, do not come to the support bot and ask which settings are the best. There are no best settings. Most of all, of course, your earnings will depend on the number and availability of advertisement orders, but not on the settings themselves. Therefore, participate in the referral program of the advertisement market. Invite advertisers through your referral link. In this case, in addition to earning directly from the advertisement itself, you will also earn a percentage of the orders of your referrals. We will talk about the referral program a little bit later in this video. But for now, let's continue the setup of our bot. The last setting we need before we can activate receiving advertisement is the minimum price for a message. Depending on the setting, each bot has its own base advertisement price. The base price is determined by several factors. For example, your advertisement setting or the presence of CAPTCHA in the bot. The presence of CAPTCHA increases the cost of advertisement, but the cost will increase only a month after the CAPTCHA was enabled in the bot. You can read more about this in the guides. Setting the minimum advertisement price. This option determines in percentage how much cheaper advertisement you are willing to receive in your bot. The amount is indicated as a percentage. For example, if you specify 80, you will be able to receive advertisement that costs 80% of the maximum possible in your bot. The lower the percentage, the correspondingly cheaper advertisement you have a chance to get. For this setting, there is also no single unambiguous solution. Try several options, compare the results, choose the appropriate one. Let's set it to 80. This was the last necessary setting. Now receiving advertisement in the bot can be activated. We press the button participate in advertisement market, thereby switching it to the on position. If the bot allowed you to enable this setting without giving any error, then technically everything is ready to receive advertisement. However, please note that in order to start receiving advertisement, your bot must have more than 500 subscribers. This is a kind of protection, so that advertisement is only go to the really working projects. If after activating the advertisement market, you see a message about the lack of users, then advertisement messages will automatically start going into your bot only after you reach the required number of subscribers. You will not need to take any other actions for that. The last question I would like to address in this video is the referral system. In order to get your referral link, you need to go to the main bot of the menu builder project. Then go to order advertisement, referral system. The message will contain your referral link. Using this link, you can invite advertisers. You get 10% of the order's value of your referrals in the first week and 5% thereafter. 
Once again, I want to emphasize that you receive income not from the number of invited users, but from their orders. Although, of course, with a large number of invited people, your income chances are increasing. The referral system currently has no time limits, and your referrals and profits will stay with you for a lifetime. To make your link more attractive, let your referrals know that they will receive a 5% discount in the first week after creating their first promotional order. In addition to the referral link, you can also use your user code as a promo code. If the user of the headbot is not anybody's referral at the moment, he can enter your user code as a promo code to get a 5% discount. To do this, he just needs to click the button promo code, enter the actual promo code and send it to the bot. Also, on the main page of the advertisement ordering section, there will be a link to the guide on the advertisement market. We recommend that you familiarize yourself with it, despite the fact that this document is quite voluminous. We will probably talk about how to create advertisement orders in a separate video. This is where we end the conversation about the setting up an advertisement market in your bot. Watch the following videos. The address of Menu Builder Constructor in Telegram is already on your screen. If you like to know about updates on the channel, press subscribe. If you like to be informed about every new video, press notify.